Hey, what's going on? It is your boy, Dio Madden, and I am thanking a shout out, a thank you from the bottom of my heart to Tanner of the North, who donated to the noble cause of my St. Quartz Fund so that I might bring home Made Altar. So I'm going to send you all of the good luck, all of the good mojo, the good juju, so that you can bring home what you need to bring home, Mysterious Heroin XX and Summer BB. And also, here's a big shout out to all of your Fate Go Let's Play viewers. Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. So I've been continuing through these events here on my own time, obviously skipping ahead in the story because, oh, big spoilers. Um. But, I've also decided, you know what, uh, one thing that I, I'm changing for my strategy for these videos is I'm not going to ascend people yes, only uh, on screen. Mostly just because of the fact that, uh, for the most part, there's nothing that's really surprising with ascension for me anymore. And I just need to, I'm trying to get to my dang party. Probably the best way would yes, just go to servant here. Um... And so, like, you know, getting these guys leveled up off screen, I don't need to show it to you guys. But, for instance, I do have a uh, Nero Caster all fully done up. She's level 90 there. Pretty sick. Pretty awesome. Got the same for uh, Caster of the Nightless City here. Nice costume. Nice art. Very good. Very good. Um, she is much better now. Her attack has gone up quite a bit. Um... I applied a couple um, command codes to Nero because, of course, I'm going to be using her a lot. And uh, otherwise, I think that's really about it for stuff I've kind of done off screen. A couple other ascensions, small ones, prototype Lancer, and all that. But the important thing is that I am so ready to rip roar right through some more E Pluribusunum. Let's go. So the part today went up with the um, my uh, guaranteed. Super special rare and um, my GSSR and people were like, "Hey, you did pretty good. And I'm like, hey, finally, that's that's good. Denver, we're going to meet the King of Presidents. So, um, let's grab you because you can hit them both for extra damage. Now, Saber and Lancer there. So let's go with you. And then, I guess, because we got Saber, let's switch you out for my archer. Oh, I did, I also fully ascended, um, Atalante here, because she, uh, she'll be another good archer for me later, when I need more archers, of course. Get you, and, uh, bring that up. Now, one thing people did say is that getting this one fully leveled up will be good. I did actually get a drop of the dive to blue here, which uh, this is good because increased arts card effectiveness by 10%. That's pretty good. Noble Phantasm die by 10% and begin battle with uh, Noble Phantasm charged at 50. That's really good. That's apparently one of the best just straight up arts cards. So, hey, that's pretty, pretty based that I got that. Um, otherwise, let's just, I don't know. That should be fine. Um, okay, well, let's hop on in. Take a sip of my drink. Section 4, King of Presidents. Oh, I'm excited to meet him. Senpai, Senpai, I'm so glad you woke up. Whoa, 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 what happened? Your servant blocked that noble phantasm attack. However, its shockwave knocked everyone unconscious. While our lives were spared, it appears that we are in their custody now. Oh, fun. Oh, so you're awake. Right. Now we're in, or sorry, right now we're in the midst of transporting you. I'm literally sipping my morning coffee right now, so if I make mistakes, it is because I am sipping my morning coffee right now. You can run away if you like, but the bad news is that these babies will be tar will target the master aggressively. Robots, huh? Though Karna probably won't do a thing, since he's a firm on his policy of not killing a master. Oh. Alright. That's a misunderstanding. I will kill a master first, depending on the situation. Of course, first you must show me that you have the reason, conviction, and determination to convince me to kill a master. 
For instance, is the one issuing the order willing to exchange their life for it? If that's the case, I'm willing to consider. See, he says stuff like that that's basically unthinkable on the battlefield. Well, that's how Karna is, but that doesn't change your situation in the slightest. At such close range, it'd be quite difficult to slip past the mechanized infantry, don't you think? Uh, now, now, be good. Hi, um, where are we headed? First, I'll have you meet my king. You should decide which side to be on after that. Well, I know the two servants sitting right there won't side with us that easily. I'm that I'm sure of. However, I'm sure things will be different if we can persuade the master. Um, Lady Blav Blavatsky. Why is it that you go to such lengths to take the side of this king? Lady, I like the sound of that. You're a nice girl. You understand etiquette. Your name is Mash, right? In light of your proper manners, I shall answer you. The biggest reason why I support the king is that we are closely connected when we were alive. Okay. I'm touched, maybe. It's not like we had an affair or anything like that. We kept in close contact, and I owe him a lot. The Celts who dominate the East won't accept anyone other than themselves. Even if I surrendered to the Celts, they would just kill me. Or maybe they would sacrifice me for the sake of their war. The Celts? Those servants you saw earlier were Fionn Macumail and Diarma Dudubni, right? If that's the case, we'll be seeing a lot of Celtic servants this time. Good luck with pronouncing their names. I actually got a figure of uh, Roman there. Uh, him and the female master for Grand Order and a tiny mash. I didn't know the mash would be so small, so I'll have to get a bigger mash figure, but eh, it's still nice. As far as I know from the legends, they all have a few screws loose. They're a bunch of airheaded berserkers. What were those magical energy waves just now? Is there someone else with you? Hey, are you keeping a fairy in your pocket or something? Nothing? Then just where did that voice come from? Oh, is Graham Bell with you or something? Is Graham Bell a servant? Does he fight with giant telephones? Come on. If he were, the king would seriously lose his temper this time. I hate to break it to you, when it comes to long distance communications, we're a few steps ahead. Apologies for introducing myself so late, Miss Blavatsky. I'm their navigator. My name is Dr. Roman. Make sure you don't forget it, as we may cross paths someday. Wow, I can tell you're an imprudent man just by your voice. You're clearly up to no good, my dear. Hey, why does everyone always diss me when they first meet me? Well, it doesn't matter. It means Tanner has an advisor as well. So let's get back to the subject. You all get it now, right? You can't win in this war unless you side with somebody. It will only get you killed if you try to take both sides, take on both sides. This world maintains a precarious balance as the East and West continue to fight. If we didn't fight, this nation would have been completely destroyed and beyond salvation by now, you see? So both sides just like to fight? So what are we, really? That's a deep question. Oh, I see. Uh, so I haven't gotten around to explaining yet that yet, but... <laughs> We've already come this far. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Besides, isn't that more amusing? Amusing, you say? Well... Someone is calling it someone is calling himself king in this ultimate democratic nation. How is that not amusing? Oh, if self-proclaimed titles count, I do remember there's an emperor as well. You sure know a lot about snobs. If he were a heroic spirit, I'm sure he would lament the current situation. Uh-oh. Ah, but first we have a preliminary show. Perfect. Can you help me out? I might as well. Pretty please? Master? Yes, let's fight. No worries, we can do that. Understood. Either way, they're enemies we must eventually stand against. Okay, here I go. Yeah, gotta... Gotta fight. I wonder if... No, there, there can't be a thing where you actually pick a side and go with it. That was an event. That was the, um... The second Gouda Gouda event was like that. I'm still not used to this new battle theme. I kind of miss the old one. Actually, I don't. I actually really don't. Because I've I've heard it so much. So I don't mind that we get a new one. For some reason, my mind was like, Man, yeah, like I kind of want a new one. But then I'm like, do I really? No, I kind of like the old one. But I kind of don't like the old one. Complicated. 
Anyways, yeah, I got some Grand Order figures because I was like, you know what? I want, I want some. So they're up on the, um, on my Fate shelf now. For those who know my Fate shelf, and I post pictures on social media, you can follow me at Tanner of the North on Twitter and stuff. Um, but uh, they were at the top. Uh, or rather, they are at the top, but the ones that were at the top, I have those like really extra large Rin and Saber figures. Those ones are now over somewhere else, so my Fate shelf is officially starting to encroach on other corners of the room. Which is fine and fun. No worries about that. Alright. Yeah, so I got to see my boy Lancelot in uh, Apocrypha. That was pretty dope. See, I'm trying to... I, bit, I uploaded a couple extra Fate Grand Order parts to try and catch it up so that I don't have to worry about, like, the fact that the order of these going up is... is Because in... I uploaded a Grand Order part where I said, oh man, the character I got is... Uh, no, I uploaded an Apocrypha part where I said, oh, I got a character in Grand Order who, like, is very fitting, and I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna go up by then, and so it got people talking and thinking, I'm like, mm, well, maybe I should actually, like, ensure... Wow, that didn't kill up. I guess weaknesses, yeah. That, that, would, that would be like that. So I was like, okay, let's try and actually sync up my uploads, because I recorded a lot of Grand Order in a row. And, because I was going on vacation, right? So I was like, okay, let's try and, um, try and sync it up now. Alright. Easy peasy. What kind of, uh, drops do you guys give? Ah, uh, just more shields. I got a lot of them now. I gotta say, though, it's astonishing how those events really warp your perception of your inventories. You get like 50, you know, um, 50 whole dragon fangs or whatever and just be like, okay, cool, I'm good. And then you'll be like, oh, the reason I had 50 was because I grinded for them in the challenge. Actually going for them is a lot harder. Anyways, we got archers here, so let's get, um, lancers then. So I need kill okay this one so yeah I, I i'm changing it from these two party names to one party names because honestly that's 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 what i'll do singular focus okay, so we got kill archer to move you up do i have any other archers or sorry boy i'm dummy this morning I can't even think. Do I have any more Lancers? I kind of don't. Okay. Alright. That should be good. I mean, technically you are. So I could throw you up there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So who are we fighting? Oh, look at this America Palace. Here we are. A fortress unfitting for America. Yeah, well... No, there's there's a couple. Mm. They're not. They don't have the stone ramparts like that usually. The White House was taken over, so we had no choice. We built the fortress from the ground up. We should use anti-Celt measures to resist the Celts, right? Madame Blavatsky, Lord Garna, the Prezi King awaits. Please come right away. I love the phrase Prezi King. It's so great. Maybe I heard wrong. Did he just say Prezi King or something? Yes, no doubt. I don't know how to say this, but it's so simplistic. Right? But that's what makes it charming. It's not an idea we'd come up with. Come, follow me. The king, despite his appearance, has a short temper. So your employer is just ahead, right? Nightingale, wait. Calm down. Wait. That would be a bad move, Nightingale. Let your gun rest a while longer. If you want to cure this world's soldiers, identify I, blah, 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 identify the pathogen first. Or are you that simplistic as well? Ooh, smart. In the meantime, more soldiers die. Are you telling me to bear with that? Yes, bear with it, but no, do not get accustomed to it. It may be tough for you, but consider it a trial. Or is it long term? Or is long term treatment not your policy? If so, I wonder which is beyond saving. 
you or this land. Dang! What? Are you saying my treatment is wrong? Not quite, but everyone makes mistakes. Humans fall to ruin when convinced their ideas are the only absolute. Anyway, if you idly meet your death here, that would be truly meaningless. Everything has a proper order. Even if you temporarily defeat an enemy here, it may cause a greater evil to prosper. I see. I understand your valuable opinion. I'll put the gun away for now. Wow. She is definitely... Well, okay, but... Uh, <laughs> what a liar, okay. But she... out of all the berserkers, she's so far the most, the, the least berserker-like we've run into with the exception of Kiyohime. Well, because she's not mad, per se. Why is she a berserker, actually? I don't think I've come to get that. I don't know. She was just a doctor, right? It's a weird thing, but doctor is a berserker, but hmm. You will look after this world's only master and that servant. Or you do look after it. Yes, yes, I know. Well, then let's get ourselves an audience with the king. I can't read today. I did literally just woke up. Look at this. This is weird. Oh, I can't get rid of her. It's weird to see just American flags and stuff. And wait, wait. Um... Year of American Flag. 1777. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, the, that would, they'd be around by now. Okay, just checking. Just checking. I brought them to see you, Mr. Prezi King. Understood. It will be another minute until the Prezi King's arrival. I'm starting to get nervous, Senpai. I wonder what kind of king he is. I have a bad feeling about this. You might be right on that. I'm detecting a new servant approaching you, but there's something bizarre about it. Uh, I wonder if this really is a heroic spirit? Bizarre? In what way, Doctor? I don't want to affect your first impression with my speculation. Anyway, we'll talk after you meet this king. Thank you for waiting. The prezi gang is here. Ho! Oh, at last I get the chance to meet that angel! How have I yearned for this moment? I intended on inviting them only after they eliminated the Celts, but this is fine too. Yes, advancing the schedule is a good thing. Much better than pushing back the deadline. I see he still hasn't fixed his habit of talking to himself while walking. I was hoping he could have at least kept that to himself. That was talking to himself? D did you hear how loud he was, Senpai? No human could do that. To be frank, you've all done a fantastic job. Greetings, everyone, and congratulations. I mean, we, 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 we've we known about him. Huh? Is the monitor broken? Broken? All I see on it is a creature. I'll say it once more. All of you have done a fantastic job. I bet you're pretty surprised, right? 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 Well, yes, they'd be surprised. Well, I was indeed surprised, but it's fine, I'm getting used to this sort of thing. That aside, um, you must be the king who controls Western America, right? Indeed, it is as you say. I have taken it upon myself to rule America in order to pulverize those barbaric Celts. I am a servant and a gentleman who supports other servants. I am Thomas Alva Edison, the Prezi King. D? Son of a gun! <laughs> oh, excuse me. I was at a complete loss for words. Edison. Edison, the king of inventions? It's really you? You're not a chimera? Indeed. Although I am currently the Prezi King, not the king of inventions. You must be Lady Florence Nightingale. You are just as beautiful as they say. Unfortunately, we could not meet when we were alive, but this moment is truly a miracle of energy. No! A miracle of souls. I was not one to live on the battlefield, but I deeply respect your convictions and rationality. Do lend us your strength, not only to advance medicine, but also to boost the morale of our soldiers. The effects of you as poster girl are immeasurable. <laughs> I had no idea you were not human. To 
put it lightly, he's a feline. To put it figuratively, from the savannah. What? I am without a doubt a human. Humans are just higher forms of beasts who possess reason and wisdom. They shall not be segregated by the color of their skin or the shape of their face. Even if I possess a lion's head, that fact does not change. I am Edison, an intelligent human being. That is all. Wow. Just how he asserts himself with confidence. I really need to learn that kind of positively. I think we all do. I think we all do, my man. Basically, he was human when he was alive, but now his head is a lion when summoned as a servant. However, since that doesn't affect his intelligence in the slightest, it's not a problem. This lion, he's the definition of rationalism. Fufu. Doctor, everyone was taking a hint and not calling him the L word. Well, he can't help it. I mean, he's basically a lion. A lion. I like the sound of that. Also, was that communication through Magecraft? Even though you live in an age of telephones, your fixation with such an inconvenient method bewilders me. Mages by birth are indeed illogical creatures. Surely you can make better use of spiritual channels. Ah, uh, what? Look, phone lines only work when you occupy the same space and time, right? This is far more functional and crosses time and space in a kind of hyper-navigational form of communication. Oh, so that means you do not exist in this era. Hmm. To be able to communicate across different eras is quite convenient indeed. Hmm. Magecraft and science are similar. There is nothing you cannot do. There's nothing you can do that I cannot. I'd like to do. I. I can't read. I'd like to see if the same thing can be done by telephone. No, wait. I should develop a spirit phone before that. Yes, yes, Mr. Edison. Please save your inventions for later, okay? Oh, yes, right. Your name is Tanner, was it? You are the only master in this world. Let me get to the point. Can you lend us the strength that you used to correct the previous four eras to get rid of the Celts? Why get, why, why get rid of the Celts exactly? Hmm. I believe that is a self-evident truth. <laughs> Needless to say, the Celts are an an ana ooh, that's a good, it's a great word. Anachron anachronism. That's what it is. Anac anachronism. Yep. I see this word written all the time, but very. How often do you say anachronism in real life? An anachronism in this age. For those of you who don't know, it means something out of its like time period. The United States is a cutting-edge nation created by capitalism and rationalism. I mean, he's not wrong. It's also not necessarily a positive thing. This is our nation, and home to those with it. Okay, no, never mind. Now, now you're now you're wrong, actually. However, they keep multiplying like planarians, and the American army lost due to the difference in the size of our forces. But fortunately, I, a heroic spirit, have descended upon this nation. The battlefront revived with my proposals of a new national structure to reform military, equalizing the situation. <laughs> they are truly barbarians. Attempting to contend against me in mass production is the epitome of idiocy. Fun fact, I used to call this word epitome for years. Eventually, my mechanized infantry will cover the land and annihilate the loathsome Celts once and for all. However, there is one matter that concerns me. Leaders. In other words, we don't have enough servants. We have an obedient army, but no mighty ace warrior to lead them. Well, enemy Celts have many notorious barbarians lined up. Just when we gain a foothold somewhere, we end up losing it to a single servant. Only servants can overcome other servants. We have three servants on our side, including myself. Other servants who are summoned are in disarray and show no interest in joining us. Only my rationality restrains me from roaring out at this sad state of affairs. The heroic spirits meant to save America dread the enemy and refuse to fight. Their negligence is going too far. Oh man, look at him go. You're rational, right? Right? Calm down, Mr. President. Um, if you're trying to save the world, we are willing to cooperate with you. 
Oh, you understand. Truly wonderful. You also have a very delicious looking body. What? Foo foo hoo! Hey, stop hitting and biting me, runt. That was figurative. I'd never assault a lady. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, open up a incognito window. Thomas Edison. Um, accusations of sexual predator. Um, da 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 da. Nope, says we're good. Okay, never mind. Though, that's just what was reported. I don't know, man. Can't trust a lot of these presidents. Can I ask you two questions? Yes, what is it? Coming from an exemplary woman like yourself, I shall give you a genteel answer. A gentleman's genteel reply. Oh, how eloquent. Karna, please record that in the Prezi King Chronicles. He hates it. My first question. On our way here, we saw the mechanized infantry several times. Is that the result of your proposal? Is that what you aim for your new national structure? Indeed, that is correct! I arrived at this conclusion in order to save the nation from its predicament. National unity. Citizens heard it know. Rally to new life. Equal national service regardless of age or gender. Eventually, all citizens will be part of the mechanized infantry and defeat the Celts, the invaders. Of course, we must maintain our mass production lines for this purpose. Acquisition of labor from all across the land. Institution of 20-hour workdays. Unremitting surveillance. Of course, you need the best welfare system, too. One cannot have labor without recreation. We will play three times as hard, work three times as hard, and win three times as hard as normal humans. That's my new vision for America. Is he not aware of human limitations? I can barely handle one times. I agree. Mr. Edison's plan does not take human physical limitations into account whatsoever. So that is what you are fixated on. Hmm? What did you just say? No, I was just talking to myself. Do not mind me. Well then, my second question. How do you intend to save the world? That can be accomplished by securing the Holy Grail. Defeat the Celts, obtain the Holy Grail, and correct the era. Well, it's unclear who among the Celts possesses the Grail. If we can secure it, we can handle the rest. No. It is unnecessary to correct this era. Huh? What? It is unnecessary. If I acquire the Grail, I could refine it. And we should be able to prevent the incineration of eras. Conse consequently, it would give birth to a world named America, operating on a different timeline from other eras. But is that really possible? Having been summoned by the Grail, we servants are well aware of its power. My conclusion is that it is quite possible. What would happen to the other eras, though? They will probably be destroyed, but then it's pointless to do so. What? Is there any other idea as brilliant as this? This America will survive for all eternity. My inventions will remake America. It will show those Celts who only can procure and fight that my inventions are the light of humanity, the power of civilization. So you expand your battlefront for that purpose, abandoning those who fell in battle. An accusation fit for Chief Nurse Nightingale, who so valiantly struggled for the salvation of all soldiers. I... I am... Uh, not abandoning them because I want to, however. Edison, calm down. Florence is just stating her opinion. It's not an accusation. I'm aware of that. That just now was my usual headache. Don't worry about it. Listen, Lady Nightingale. To us, to me especially, this nation is everything, and a true king has a paramount duty to protect his nation. But if you are a heroic spirit, you should also have a duty, an ideal, a wish to protect the world. And this is Mash realizing that maybe the ideals of Western civilization are corrupt. You are right. Even my current self possesses the sense of duty in one corner of my sanity. Mr. Edison, if you deny that duty, you're nothing more than a mere patriot. Quite so. What is wrong with a king being a patriot? I see. 
In that case, there's only one thing for me to do. Nightingale, that's enough. I will not allow you to fight here. Even if that costs me my life. Let go of me, I can tell. Leaders with those eyes always lead to destruction. Lion eyes? And in the end, he will irresponsibly declare that it wasn't supposed to turn out like this. Tanner, Master, what do you think? Shouldn't you join me to fight the Celts and acquire the Holy Grail? I'll give you three minutes to decide. Why three minutes? Maybe joining them for the time being is not a bad idea. What are you saying, Doctor? He's opposed to the idea of fixing the foundation of humanity. Quite the contrary, he's for it. It's just that the world he envisions differs, differs from ours. We don't have the time to confront him now. And in the end, I think I'll stop bearing his fangs. I'm not just being hopeful. My conclusion stems from historical observation and experience. Those that move nations believing in their own righteousness will experience consequences in one form or another. But that's all irrelevant. Now it's about gaining the upper hand in the war. With all the Celtic servants gathering, there is an overwhelming gap in military strength. Diarmuid Dubni and Fionn Macamail are Kamul, or no, wait, no, Mc, 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 McCool. That's what it is. Not I, 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 last part I remembered. It's McCool, but I said Kamhail twice. Sorry. Um, how many more servants of that caliber do they have? For now, we'll cooperate in order to acquire the Holy Grail and correct the mistake where Celtic myths dominate North America. Yeah, that's that's a mistake, all right. What happens afterwards, we can think about that later. Senpai, what should we do? Senpai? Well then, have you come to a decision? Let me hear what you have to say. I have a bad feeling about it, I can't help. Give up on the Holy Grail, President Lion. That is an unexpected response indeed. Whatever your hidden agenda may be, I thought you would agree to join forces. I, Thomas Alva Edison, should respect your honesty and sincerity. But as Prezi King, unfortunately, I have no choice but to condemn you. Get him. Oh, get him. No, that's it, him. They're coming. Stand back, Master. All right. Well. Well. That's what happens, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Boy. Boy, the United States loves the United States, huh? And here's the thing. I can absolutely say it because I don't live there, but it it really is apparent to some people, this is in general, that they truly believe that the United States is like the only nation. Like I don't I don't know if you've seen that, but there's a couple people who you like you just through interaction with them. Whether it's online or in person, they only think of that place as the only place on Earth. And it's weird. I don't get it. Maybe it's because I come from Canada, which barely exists according to most media, so... Even though, you know... Well, I mean, we kind of have less people than California, but eh, whatever. But like, our nation itself is big. A lot of it's unused land, but... Like, you can't tell me there are people in the current American political party who would not be like, yeah, let's remove America from the timeline. They'd be for that. They would legit be like, yeah, let's do it. Like, that's why, and here's the thing. That's why, when it comes to, like, cool stuff existing in the world, it would never happen. You know? Like, we get leaks of stuff all the time. If there were UFOs, like, true UFOs that, you know, were being tested and stuff, the president would be tweeting about it all the time, because he's stupid. Wow, this is getting political, huh? Oh, it's the America chapter. That's what happens, I guess. Anyways... Let's keep going. <sighs> no good, there's no end to them. Oh, exclamation marks. So even my prized mechanized inventory can become junk in minutes when going up against a servant, huh? But sometimes it's quantity over quality. You should be out of energy already. 
Blavatsky, throw them inside the special underground jail. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I guess it can't be helped, so sorry, but you're getting locked up again. Oh boy. Getting locked up. <gasps> but getting the same quartz. Cool Hand Florence. Alright. Florence the Cool Hand, I guess. Anyways, oh, Geronimo's gonna save us. Way thanks for the spoilers. Yeah, just for fun. My boy Koo. I wish his Hawaiian shirt was a costume. I love his Hawaiian shirt. Come on, we got summer alts for all these characters. Give us that. Those numbers just aren't fair. Even after all that, let us keep all our equipment. Foo! Foo is safe too. Foo! Not quite, Doctor. Just run an analysis and you'll know. The magical energy supply for Master is being cut off and we have no way of escaping this jail. That's right, you can't really underestimate a caster from the 19th century, can you? Well, since I've lived on this continent before, my affinity with this land is not so bad. Tell the guard if you're willing to cooperate, we'll let you out immediately. Tell me, Tanner, why do you refuse? As the gentleman from Caldia said, you could have just betrayed us along the way. At the very least, I'm sure you saw this coming, yet you choose this foolish, pa foolish path. Why? Uh, for Edison's sake. I see. <laughs> Relationship points with Nightingale go down for not choosing that. True, I'm sure he'd be hurt if you betrayed him. In life, he was fed up by all the lawsuits. Despite the way he looks, he's naive. He loves his country more than anyone, and thinking that is only natural. No, he's obsessed. It's extreme self-righteous patriotism. But if you understand that, why are you helping him, Helena? Wouldn't he listen to your consul? No, my approach can't save this country. For better or worse, only Mr. Edison can stop the Celtic army. That's why I'm with him for now. I do have obligations from when we were alive, too. However, Tanner, what you said makes me happy. Please don't hate him too much. As the king of inventions, he really is an amusing person, like a child. Rest easy. Some will come to your rescue soon. Oh, you're just straight up saying it. Until then, just wait here. Wow, okay. Oh, well, there we go. That was fast. Oh, no, she was just shooting it. We have to do something to get out of here. Please help me. I know, but I think it's impossible to destroy a cell with a gun. No, I think I've managed to shave off a little bit. Come on, everyone, pitch in and dig. It's ironic, because the jailbreak event's on right now. Ah, the bullets are ricocheting inside the cell. Nightingale is too reckless. Yes, that was reckless. But on the bright side, the sound of the gunshots let me find you quickly. A servant? Wait, wait, a servant, you say? But I didn't detect anything at all. If I gave off a servant response, we'd risk the possibility of the great hero of India finding us. It's thanks to this noble phantasm that I borrowed from that man. Just a moment, I'll get you out of there. That man? Who on earth are you? Good question. I'm sure you can't trust me unless I tell you my name. That said, my true name is not to be revealed lightly. Though even if I told you, you wouldn't know who I am. Nope. As such, you should just call me this. Geronimo. My name is Geronimo. Oh, that's not his true name. Geronimo? The Apache Shaman. You were summoned as a caster, huh? Strictly speaking, I'm far from being a shaman. I'm just a warrior. The hero of the Apache. I see, there's no way he would follow Edison. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Even though they live in the same land. Oh, no, that's actually why they're so incompatible. Yeah! Strictly speaking, we should also be enemies, but there's no time for, the, for that. So, it's actually interesting. You would think, you would, like, you know, a person who might not know would think, man, Japan probably has no idea how to write the, you know, the race relations between First Nations and the white man, because that's, like, that's a thing that them, they, they don't know, but it's actually not the case. Um, very s similar to the First Nations is the Ainu in Japan. Uh, basically Japan's First Nations, who look remarkably like the First Nations of North America. They look very similar in terms of what they wear and even how they look physically. Um, and just like how they've been treated by Japanese society is pretty much the same way uh, the First Nations have been treated by, uh, you know, the, the Western society there. 
Um, the only difference is, as far as I'm aware, there's no formal education on the Ainu and Ainu history and, you know, stuff like that in school. Whereas, at least for Canada, we devote heavily time to discussing the First Nations and their side of the story uh, in, in, in our teachings and our social classes. So, sorry to get teacherly on you for a sec. It's been a hot minute since I've been that, so. Let's go. There, you're free. Now you should be able to receive magical energy again. Thank you. I'd like to escape, but first we need to take down the mechanized infantry guarding the place. I'm sure Karna will notice us at that point. He'll take everything you have to escape. Are you ready? Oh yeah! Yeah, let's do a mash! Right, I'm not used to bullets yet, but I'll do my best. I feel like bullets... ...are easier if you're a servant to deal with. Because, I don't know, something about bullets just being... Because you have a stronger skin, right? Like, you're physically stronger, so wouldn't you just deal with it better? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not, I mean, I don't know what it feels like to be a superhuman, so... So, we'll see. Alright. Although, it, I guess it is quite ironic we're using Ku, but... He's my man. He's my he's my my absolute Chad. Who, do, who doesn't love Kahulin? He's like the best character. All right, next up, got some more of these little mini mecha mini mechas and bigger mechas. So let's just go. You know what, actually? Let's do that. Yeah. Because it'll probably kill the first. Yeah. Close. Nice. Reload ammo. Give some sure hit. Alright, so let's go boop, boop, boop. Like that. I'll do some good damage. Right. So, three sets of the big guys, no problem. Oh yeah, and I've also turned off um, the skill confirmation, mostly because that was one of the reasons why I wasn't the biggest fan of um, using skills was the confirmation stuff. So just to click them instantly is really nice. Of course, if I need to, I can still click and hold to see what they are. So at least there's that. I just got to remember to do that in the future. Um, all right. I thought Kyohi Maze, though, was for everyone. So whoops, that was a waste, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm never... I'm never going to change her to her final Ascension costume. I do not like it. I don't. It's not for me. In general, the the overly excessive idol outfits are... I'm not a big fan of. There's something to be said about just, you know... Simplicity is nice, you know? Alright, they're down. But Karna must have noticed. Follow me quickly. This place is bigger than I thought. In this era, land is the only thing there's plenty of. It's true. Mr. Geron Geronimo, do you mind if I ask you something? You don't have to raise your voice, mage. I can hear you. What is it? In Eastern and Western America, the Celts and Edison have raised armies and are at war. This we understand. But do you know of any other servants who we speculate were summoned as countermeasures? Yes, there are three other... No, two other servants that fight with me. I'll introduce you after we escape. It seems there are many more servants who have been summoned here to America, though. But we're short on military strength, so we had to act very carefully. To be honest, the Celtic army is picking us off one by one. But if you join us, we'll be able to take decisive action. Wait a moment, I have one question. What is it, Angel? I, I take that back. That was inappropriate. My apologies. Okay. Go ahead. If memory serves me correct, Geronimo, you were once at war with this nation. That's right. If this error is corrected, you'll be treated as a warrior who failed. Is that still alright? I don't mind. 
Victory or defeat in the end? It's no more than a point embedded in the flow of time. Crushing this era would mean that my brothers and I shed all this blood for nothing. It's simple to pretend something doesn't exist. It's even easier if something is dis uh, disadvantageous to yourself. Even so, being able to acknowledge something is what makes us warriors. Only a sly coyote would pretend something doesn't exist. Oh, I like that. That's, that's good. Good reference to their myths. Too much irony for my taste. I see. And for now, I can think of you as an ally, yes? I wouldn't want to try fooling a gaze that could even shoot down a sun. Ah, here's the exit. I have no idea who Geronimo is, so you know what? Um, I'm going to type in Geronimo. Just, just the word Geronimo. Okay, so... Geronimo, the one, his name means the one who yawns, was a prominent leader and medicine man of the uh, Badonkahohe band of the Apache tribe. Um, so he led different ones to carry out raids, um, fought in the War of Mexico. He was not a chief. Okay, he was a leader though. All right, all right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I've, I've never... I mean, obviously, because it's it's American history, but definitely one that I've never heard of. In fact, I this is one that I probably doubt that a lot of people have heard of, just because of the fact that, you know, it's First Nations history, and America historically doesn't like to teach that. Outwitting him was too much to ask, but we can't turn back now. Let's go! Right. All right. Are we fighting, uh, fighting Karna? Here we go. So we got a Lancer, so we're going to need some sabers. Uh, let's put, you know what? I have strong sabers, so let's put you in. And let's go kill Lancer. There we go. No, you know what? Honestly, I very rarely just get the chance to fight with you, so let's do that. Alright, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And I have you upgraded and stuff, so... So it is you, Geronimo. I didn't want to meet the great hero of the Ma... Oh, it's a fun one! The Mahabha... Ma Mahabharata. Under these circumstances. I did not wish to encounter the great man who bravely confronted a nation under these circumstances, either. However, I must raise my spear now that we're being attacked. Don't worry, I won't let the mechanized infantry interfere. This will be a battle just between me and all of you, so prepare to fight. He does have a seemingly a strict honor code here, so... Listen, Tanner, it seems he doesn't expect this to be a battle to the death. Normally the odds would be against us, but now that... He isn't going all out. We still might have a chance if we send him flying. He's a lancer. Summon servants that are advantageous to, uh, against him and unleash noble phantasms for he does. Got it? It seems you're ready. Then here I come. Do I actually have to beat him before he noble phantasms? Because that'd be interesting. That would be interesting. There was a battle in the um, jailbreak mission that was a survive type mission. So that was very different. Ooh, new Fatal Battle theme, too. Nice. Alright, so... Um... Let's go... Get some... Get some stuff here. Little bit of damage. Alright, you're nearly there. Let's get, um... No, let's go, like, yeah, let's go Journey of the Flowers. Let's also go... Yeah, because his is a hit-everyone one, so honestly, target... And do that. Do this. And you know what? Uh, yeah, give yourself some of these. Alright. So let's go. That last hit should deal some big bust of damage. Let's see here. 
I could have, I guess, also used my Buster skill, but I think this, I think this should be enough. Oh. Alas, it did not do as much. Nice. Though he was smart by using a skill, so as not to waste it, so... My man knew what he was doing. Let's go... Let's see how much this 100% does on him. I'll kill, I bet. Yeah! Massive damage. I have like 45 gold lancer tokens. I don't even know where they're all from. I don't even remember grinding for them. Ugh. Somehow we pushed him back. Master, now's the time. Let's retreat. Not escape. Retreat. Right. Now, run, run. Zip zoom, let's go. It's as far as I go. Edison, it seems that the clock has started ticking. You have asked me for help, so I'll stay until the end, but what can we do to avoid a catastrophe? Yeah, who's that one servant at the very beginning, I wonder? It sounded like he was related to Karna in some way, but it didn't look like Arjuna, who I do know. I do know about Arjuna, but hey, maybe maybe it's a weird version of Arjuna that we don't know. Deming? I've never even heard of Deming. All right. All right, guys, next time we'll be back. We're going to head off to Dem Deming? Where is Deming? Deming City. Deming, New Mexico. Uh, Deming is a city in Luna County, New Mexico. Yeah, that's right there on the map. It has less people than the town I live in, so it is absolutely tiny. Is there anything special about it? Not really. Oh, police controversy. Of course. Of course there is. Alright, guys. We'll see you next time for some more Fate Grand Order where we head off to Deming. Ciao.